Guys, I am so pumped. Spring training starts this week. What? For how long? Ah. Okay, so minor league spring training starts this week. Get pumped! This video will focus on building a game plan for a successful spring training so that you can break camp ready to dominate the regular season. So, here are my five tips for kicking ass at spring training. Number one, if you're on time, you're late. This is a fundamental rule for me during spring training. I try to be early for everything so I don't have to wait in line behind 150 other guys. During spring training, there's tons of meetings to go to, physicals to cough in, guest speakers to listen to, and forms you're gonna need to fill out during the first couple of weeks. There's always something to be doing and it can kind of get hectic if you don't manage your time well. Hey, what a great segue into my second point. Develop a routine. What's great about spring training is that all the days are almost identical, which makes it easy to develop a routine. For the first couple weeks, I like to write down my scheduled routine so that I have a solid blueprint for how my days are gonna go. And maybe use Google Calendar so that you don't miss a meeting. Or at the very least, just take a picture of the next day's schedule. Tip number three, be open to learning. Spring training is the time to prepare for the season. Your coaches know this. So when you get critiqued on something, do not take it personally. And your coaches aren't the only ones you can learn from. You can also learn from your teammates. The off season is a long, long time. There could be something that they worked on this off season that you could learn from now. Number four, show off your strengths. Spring training is the best time to show your organization what you're capable of doing. Every person that evaluates your abilities and decides where you will play for the season will be at spring training. Sounds like a lot of pressure, right? Instead, Look at it as an opportunity to show off your strengths and show them what you've worked on during this off season. And number five, be professional. Like I said before, everyone's at spring training. Your GM, assistant GM, director of player development, and even the CEO of your organization. This is a great time to show them that you're a professional person on top of being a quality baseball player. Show them that you take this seriously and that you don't wanna just make this a job, but you also want it to be your career. As stressful as spring training can be, it's important to remember to have fun and be grateful for the experience. That's it for this Life Hacks for the Minor Leaguer video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of spring training is. Make sure you hit that like button, share, and subscribe. I'm Matt Perret, the Homeless Minor Leaguer, and maybe check out these videos up here. I've been using Minor League Love since my rookie season. There's not a lot of women on there, but 